Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today, today video lecture, we are going to discuss the synthesis of tall butamide. Tall butamide. Tall butamide is mainly a oral hypoglycemic agent. Oral hypoglycemic agent. Mainly tall butamide is the first generation of the sulfonyl urea derivative. First generation sulfonyl urea derivative. Sulfonyl urea derivative. Here one more important point is mainly tall butamide is a basic drug used to treat the NIDDM means non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. This is the drug for the NIDDM. Okay, uh, let's discuss the synthesis. Mainly, tolbutamide start from the synthesis. Its starting material is the toluene. Okay, so here the first starting material here is toluene. Here we have the toluene. Yes, para-toluene. Now this toluene when reacted with chlorosulfonic acid. Okay, chlorosulfonic acid. What is the chlorosulfonic acid? Here Cl SO2 OH. Either we can write this SO. Cl SO2OH or we can also write it Cl SO3H. Okay, here is the chlorosulfonic acid. Chlorosulfonic acid and here we have the toluene. Now, this chlorosulfonic acid when reacted with the toluene <coughs> by this reaction, what we will get? Para toluene. Here we have the CS3 group. Para toluene. Sul here sulfonyl chloride. Here we will get SO2 and Cl. This is the para toluene sulfonyl chloride. Para toluene. Sulfonyl chloride. Now, this para toluene sulfonyl chloride when undergoes the reaction with ammonia means when the ammonia gas passed on this compound, then what happened mainly? This NS2 group of this will remove this chloride ion and get attached here, and the HCl will be removed out here. HCl will be removed out. So, finally, here next compound we will get. Here as such, CS3 para toluene SO2 and here we will get NS2. Now here this compound is the para toluene sulfonamide. Okay, here we will get para toluene sulfonamide. Now this para toluene sulfonamide. When undergoes the reaction with ethyl chloroformate, ethyl chloroformate, here ethyl chloroformate undergoes the reaction under the condensation reaction in the presence of pyridine. Okay, so here ethyl chloroformate ethyl chloroformate. Okay, when it reacted, then what happened? Let's come here. Here as such, CS3. Here we will get SO2. I will write like this. Next, NH. This Cl and one molecule of the hydrogen from here will be removed out in the form of 
HCl. So here HCl will be removed out. And next, what happened? Here we will get now this C double O C two S five will get attached on here, and it becomes C O O C two H five. C double O C two S five here. Formate ethyl formate will be joined here. Now this compound when undergoes the reaction. Now this compound is the para toluene sulfonyl carbamate. Sulfonyl carbamate. Okay. Now para toluene sulfonyl carbamate when undergoes the reaction. With butyl amine, okay, C four H nine N H two butyl amine. This reaction, butyl amine reaction, carried out in the presence of ethyl glycol. Okay, so when reacted with the butyl amine, then what happened? This one H of this amine amino group and this C two S five O will removed out in the form of Ethyl alcohol C two H five will be removed out, and finally we will get we will get our final product that is the toluidamide. And how the structure of the toluidamide will be like this? Here at such C S three. Here we will get S O two. So O here we will get N H with this N. We will get CO here again. Now this butyl amine will be joined here NH and here C4H9 butyl group will be joined here. Now this compound is our final product that is the tol butamide. Very simple. Only four step reaction. Mainly what happened? First of all. Toluene reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid and form the para toluene sulfonyl chloride. This para toluene sulfonyl chloride undergoes the reaction with the ammonia. Okay, when ammonia gas passed, then by the removal of the HCl, we will get para toluene sulfonamide. This para toluene sulfonamide reacted with the chloroethyl formate. By this reaction, finally we will get para toluene sulfonyl carbamate. And at the end, when the butyl amine pass reacted with this compound, then finally we have the product tol butamide. This is the oral hypoglycemic agent used for the NIDDM mainly. Okay, thank you.